from at Optic Splendor, who is the best trash talker in the league? Well, the best trash talker in the league, uh, I think you're you you're a subscriber to this podcast. <laughs> I hope uh, you're you're. I hope you. I hope you're a weekly listener. And if you are, you have an op- you get the opportunity to listen to the best trash talk in the league weekly. I don't think there's any better trash talkers in the league than me, uh, and I stand on that. Like Pepsi, I guarantee it. You heard you heard what Frank Lucas said. Uh, I stand by my product. I guarantee that. No, but I think there is uh, some guys who are good trash. Talkers. I always tell people, and they don't. I think you started to realize it now with like. The more he talks on Twitter or the more you he's caught <laughs> saying stuff to fans in the stands. Mm-hmm. KD, I've always mm-hmm. said, told people, like, KD was one of the biggest trash talkers to me since I came into the league. Like, always have been. But he, all, he wasn't always, like, outwardly to where you could see it. But if you played against him, you knew. And it, and it would be, like, disrespectful stuff. Like, hey, who is this? KD would turn the dude around, like, try and look at the back of his jersey, like, see his name <laughs> on the back. Like, K, like, like, K would say stuff to people, and you like, yo, you Kevin Durant. Like, there's not really much I can say back. Like, right. what, like what, what are you going to say back to Kevin Durant? I always have something to say. And I probably said something first, knowing me. But uh, K, KD was one of the biggest tra- – and KD got, like, these one-liners. Like, oh, he drunk at the bar. Like, K would hit somebody with a cross. Hey, he drunk at the bar. You know, like <laughs> – that's a good one. <laughs> like, K got one-liners for days. Like, <clears throat> I play dominoes a lot. E-40 got crazy one-liners. Uh, Gary Payton got crazy one-liners. Like, KD got one-liners for days. And so I think if 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 I'm not going with myself, I would have to say KD for sure. It's It reminds me of the way you're describing it, kind of like Larry Birdish, where it's just like, mm-hmm. he's always like, who is guarding me? Like, what? Like, who is this that you're sending at me, you know? Who are you? And and again, what were you gonna say to Larry Bird? Like, oh, you're right. not nice. Like, <laughs> like some dudes talking, you like, bro, you trash. Like, why are you talking to me? Like, but like Kevin Durant talking, like, what are you gonna say? Like, bro, you can't dribble. Like, ah, you can't shoot. Like, you can't check. Like, what are you gonna say? You gotta be real creative. And so for me, you know what I'm saying? I, I can create now. Like, and so I can go there with him. But like Larry Bird, like what 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 are most people gonna say? Like, if so, if you're not witty enough to just come up with comebacks like that ain't got nothing to do with, oh bro, you suck, or like, or you can't do this, or you can't like if you ain't witty enough to come back with with to have comebacks that's not like those things, then you screw. And so I think that is a that's definitely a good comparison. For what I know of Bird, right? Like I never played sure. against Bird for what I've heard, what I've seen. I think it's a pretty good comparison. And obviously, two great basketball players. Yes, sir. Uh, next one from at Jake Vias Mingo. Who is your favorite player to guard? My favorite player to guard? Um, My favorite player to guard is also KD. And the reason my favorite player to guard is, I think for me, that's the toughest challenge. Uh is I can't like what can I do to make it hard on Kevin Durant? He he sees right over the top of me, seven feet. Uh, he's probably a little quicker than me. Uh, he's probably a little more athletic than me. He's probably a little faster. So I'm supposed to lose that challenge. Like I'm supposed to lose that battle. What can I do to change that outcome? Can I take on that challenge that we all fell at? Um, and, can I be successful in taking on that challenge? Like, I think for me, guarding the best and taking on that challenge of the best score to do it, like, that's fun. Like, I enjoy that. I, and more importantly, I get better guarding him because if I can do some things against him, like, that opens up some things for me to be able to do against anybody, you know? And so I think you always want to play the best and you, like, always want to, like, take on that challenge of the best. And I think Kevin Durant is the greatest scorer we've ever seen. To have the opportunity to guard that guy is incredible. And so I, I'd have to say that's my favorite guard because how many, how 
often do you get to say I guarded the best or I went head to head with the best at said thing? Like you don't get to say that often. So, you know, I've had times where like I played good defense on him. I've also had a time where he put 54 up on him. Like, <laughs> like it, it just is what it is. But I enjoy the challenge because it doesn't get any better than that when you're talking about scoring the basketball. 